Hi, my name is Boris and in this video I'm going to show you 7 hidden features of Ableton Live 12.1. This update is really powerful, but you might not be aware of some of the great functions that have been added. Before we get into the video, if you like what we are doing on this channel, make sure to subscribe. We've got more content about Ableton coming up. And if you'd like to learn Live 12 with all the foundations of music production, check out the Beginner to Advanced Live 12 Start to Finish course. Make sure to also check out the Everything Bundle Collector's Edition which includes all courses, sound packs and project files in our store. Alright, so let's get started. The first hidden feature you will find in the piano roll section. Here we have just a generated uh, swarm of notes. I don't even have uh, any instrument on this track. Uh, I've just generated it with seed here. Uh, you can easily create these different swarms. But that's already been added in Ableton Live 12. What's new in Ableton Live 12.1 is using the MIDI editor to filter and select notes by time, pitch, velocity, chance and duration. It's all available here if we just click on this magnifying glass and here you can just choose what you want to filter by. For instance, let's filter by pitch and for instance, let's say we want to choose just C notes from this entire swarm of notes. Here we've just chosen the C notes and as you can see, these notes are highlighted in green and we can, for example, press zero to disable them. For example, we can choose G notes and also do the same. And now we've disabled all Gs and all Cs without having to manually search for these notes. And that can be really, really useful if you have a lot of MIDI information and you want to edit all of this in bulk with these filters. Other options include time. So for example, if we just need to select a certain time, for example, like this, we can also filter different chance parameters and maybe also by scale. So for example, we can choose the C major scale or, or maybe something else and it's just these notes that fit. And yeah, it's really elaborate and it can make filtering your MIDI information much, much easier. So the next feature that we have, actually two new features, are the new MPE specific MIDI transformations. So you probably know the MIDI transformations and that have been added in Live 12. For instance, we have the arpeggiate, which can transform your notes into arpeggios. But what we have here is, for example, glissando mode, which allows you to glide each note into the next one. To be able to use it, you need to select at least two notes and you can just draw in the curve. Yeah, make sure you have the MPE tab enabled and also make sure you are using an MPE capable device like Drift. I've just added this glissando between all of the notes in my chord progression and what happens is we are not getting the typical glide. All of the notes just gradually move onto the uh, next pitches and that just that's just an effect that's really creative and would probably require us to split the track into different sections, different layers to achieve this usually, but uh, here we can just do this all on one track. So let's just hear it. I've just automated the filter frequency. So we can really hear a detuning and going up to these pitches. And this can be really creatively used and is especially awesome in evolving pad soundscapes, but I can imagine it being used in many different scenarios, maybe on leads or anything that is sustained and you want it to glide. So just select two notes, go into the transformations tab and select glissando and you'll be able to edit it right here. Another one is called LFO. Let's just decrease the amount of this. And you can see now we've added just a bit of LFO modulation to the pitch. Maybe we can add even like 0.1, just so just very slight modulation of the pitch. So these would be two new MPE related MIDI transformations. Let's take a look at another new feature and it's here in the chance section. So if you enable chance, you will be able to merge different notes into one chance parameter. By default, you get 
a different chance parameter for each node. And basically, uh, the higher we go here, the higher the chance that the nose is going to be played. At zero, no nose are played, and the higher we go, and the more likely it is that the nose is going to be played. Now we could also uh, select either play all or play one, and this is going to merge our chance parameters for all of these nodes. So by now we have just four snare drums, and if we decrease the chance, yeah, it plays quite rarely, but you can hear it sometimes plays two notes. So if we just want to play one note each time it's triggered, uh, we can just select play one. This turns our chance parameter into a single slider for all these four notes. And now if it's going to be triggered, it's just going to be one note. For instance, here we got this C3 note. But if we go low, it might not be triggered for a long time. And the other mode is play all. When we do this, this sign changes. And here, if the chance is going to get triggered, it's going to play all the notes. And now it didn't trigger and it played none of the notes. These are the new parameters and I'm sure that many producers are going to find creative ways to use this. Let's take a look at the next feature. Okay, in Ableton Live 12.1 we also have even more tunings available. So if we go to the tuning section, this list is just huge. You can filter these and you can also click this button right here and it's going to direct you to Ableton's website where you can find more about this specific tuning. I'm just going to remove this one. Here we have an ARP. And we can try choosing a different tuning. Here is the mean tone scale. It's giving it this really eerie quality and of course the choice is so wide that you can experiment endlessly with these different tunings. So make sure to check these out and when applied uh, successfully these can really make your tracks unique. Another feature that we have when we go to view is the undo history. Here you can see all of the things that we did and we can go back and forth in the undo history. And this just makes going back in time much, much easier instead of endlessly clicking Ctrl Z, Ctrl Z and uh, finding the spot where we want to be. Instead, we can just scroll down, just choose where we want to pick up or return to a specific place towards the top. Uh, so that's the undo history. And what we also have is the browser history. So we can go back and forth here uh, with these arrows. And yeah, and this way you won't get lost in your browser section. Next up, we have auto tagging. And this is really great. So for instance, here we have a sound from one of our deep premium packs. And you can see that Ableton automatically categorized it as a one shot and also as a kick. And we can disable these auto tags here with this I. For instance, here it's automatically categorized as a clap. Let's see here. It's categorized as a loop and as a drum loop as well. This is really, really nice. Uh, you can now more efficiently browse through your entire library by using this auto-populated set of tags. Because when we go into search mode and we just select kicks, it's going to also give you all of the kicks that you haven't yet tagged as kicks. Now, the last feature for today is going to be the new modulation behavior. So uh, here we have just an analog device and an LFO device. It's linked to the frequency of the filter. Sounds like this. I'm going to enable the LFO. So what's great about it now is that we can now do this. So assign the LFO to the filter frequency, but now we can also move this knob. And previously we weren't able to do this. This uh, knob was sort of locked. So this now gives us even the ability to add automations on top of modulations. 
and now you can see two dots here the red dot meaning we have automation and the blue dot meaning it's modulation and this just makes creating evolving patches uh, a lot easier all right i hope you will find this video on hidden features of ableton live 12.1 useful make sure to check out our music production academy with lots of start to finish courses on making tracks in various genres if you'd like to learn live 12 with all the foundations of music production check out the beginner to advanced live 12 start to finish course make sure to also check out the everything bundle collector's edition which includes all of the courses sound packs and project files in our store all links you'll find in the video description make sure to subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed this video leave us a like write a comment and i'll see you in the next ones